puzzle. It's like a challenge. It's something that I'm always striving to do faster and better. I don't know, I've never really like thought that in depth about it as to why or what it was. I just liked it. I just liked playing guitar. I don't know, there was just something about it that like the better I got, the more fun it became. It's like a Rubik's Cube. Everyone would always tell me that I would need to have a backup plan, which is like, you know, something to fall back on just in case the music doesn't work. I pretty much just said, fuck that. I'm not gonna have a backup plan. I'm playing guitar and I'm doing music. I don't care what anyone else says. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work and that's it. I was born in Virginia and my dad plays bass, which is the main reason why I got in the music to begin with. I honestly distinctly remember the moment of him showing me GCD, like just the normal chords on a guitar and me thinking it was literally impossible. I also remember him figuring out how to play Damn It by Blink-182. Uh, just so I could learn that main riff in the song. You guys know. Honestly, I like these things because they're really, like, they're hard. At least at first they are. Very much like a guitar. But the more you work with it, you start to recognize patterns, like reoccurring themes, and it starts to just become ingrained to the point where you don't even need to look. It's like at what you're doing. It just becomes like crystal clear. exactly how I got into metal. My dad had the CD collection where it was, the shelves are kind of like this, you know, so the CDs are all lined up, but the sides aren't enclosed. So you could see like the covers, like the album cover. Judas Priest's Painkiller was right at the front of one of them. So I, I could just see that album artwork on, on this one shelf. And you know, that, that album cover is crazy looking. It's like a demon biker dude, like going straight into a pit of hell. I was like, what is that? It just sounded awesome, it just sounded cool. And I wasn't surprised at all that I got sucked into that when I was a little kid in like second grade. The realization of me seeing that this is what all, the only thing that I wanted to do for like the rest of my life was probably somewhere in high school when I was actually starting to get better at guitar because you know when you when you start playing it's super frustrating and because you can't play the things that you want to right off the bat and that sucks but the more that you try it and the better you get the more fun it becomes like I was playing drums before I started taking guitar seriously and what made me make the leap was Dream Theater's album, Train of Thought. And I would hear that and just be like, I need to be able to play that one day. Like, I don't care what it takes. Like, I want to be able to do that. I saved up over a year to get uh, $1,750 to get my first music band. It 
was my first job ever. I was working at a water park, like selling dipping dots and like pretzels and shit. I would mow like every lawn I possibly could. The hardest part was getting that lump sum at first to get like, all right, I can actually do this. I like, like three, $400 for 12 year olds is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Um, so I just gave it to my dad. I was like, keep it so I won't spend it and buy some stupid GameCube game or something like that. The day I got it, I played it for 10 hours straight, learning that Dream Theater song, that the, the end of this dying soul primarily, to the point where my dad was like, do you want to like play something else? I don't know, it was a good moment. Life-changing, I would say. I didn't realize it at the time when I wanted to get my first Music Man. I just wanted it because it was John's guitar. And I was like 12, 13 years old at the time. And that was literally it. I had no clue that I was investing and buying in one of the best guitar models out there ever made. That was just a, oh, I wanted John's guitar, and I got it, and I lucked out it being like one of the greatest guitar companies. I like practicing the crap out of a song and playing it perfect the same way every night. I definitely write a little more unconventional. I use things like Guitar Pro and Pro Tools to kind of hear ideas that I have in my head before I can physically perform them. So like a, a perfect example of Tools such as that available to you in this digital age is like how Music Man makes their guitars, like with the, um, with the CNC machines and whatnot. Like they're not gonna mess up, it's gonna be the same. And you're gonna have this pristine product made this perfect way every single time. Music Man is like half man, half machine. They're straight up Terminator of guitars. It's a hard feeling to describe because you don't expect it to happen. I mean, ever since I've started doing the solo stuff, everything's been taking off and more successful than I ever could have imagined it would have been. I had no reason to think, to think otherwise, and now fast forward, you know, almost a decade later, like I make a living off people buying my tablature, not even just listening to my music, like people are so stoked on it to the point that they go out and buy the transcriptions and that's literally what puts food in my mouth and pays my cell phone bill and funds my touring. Like if you pursue something that you really love, you'll make it work, like no matter what. And I can't foresee it ending anytime soon. This is so much cooler than working at GameStop.